All right, guys, welcome to another video. Uh, all this one's going to be is I'm just going to be showing you guys um, sort of how to remove the front and rear badges on a clear 182. So kind of a how-to video, really. This is the first one I've done, so we'll kind of see um, how it goes. But I'm sort of going to do it stage by stage, things to use um, on different bits of the car, how to get the sort of uh, the back badge off, because that's a difficult one, really. Um, unfortunately, you can't fully get the diamond off the back uh, without breaking it and then kind of gluing it back on. Um, but I'm going to show you the best way to kind of get off the uh, spraying or replacing or anything like that. All right, so check it out, guys. Okay guys, so removing the front badge is really, really kind of simple. All you really need uh, is a cloth and a screwdriver. Flathead, preferably. Um, all you need to do is I pretty much just wrap the whole at the end of the um, of the flathead with a cloth. Just to avoid sort of scratching any bodywork or any of the other badge. Pop it underneath first of all. It's quite difficult to do with one hand. But pull the bottom off. Oh, as you can see, that side's come off as well. If I hold that side, get around the other edge. Should pop off of there as well. Nice. Okay, so yeah, just, just like I said, you've got two at the top, one at the bottom. Tap the bottom one first, uh, and then you can do the two sides. And they literally just popped off, like so. And then he's good for spraying. As you can see, I've sprayed this one black. I think he's getting a few stone chips on him now, but you can spray it again soon. But yeah, that's how you pop the front one off. All right, guys, so when you do get that badge off the front there, just be very, very careful with sort of the pulling and things like that, just because these three little pick up bits, the bits that sort of slot in and hold it there, uh, they're very fragile and they can break. So just be careful with that. Um, I've seen on the forums and things like that, a few people sort of glued them back on. Um, but yeah, just be really careful with those bits. Try and be nice and gentle with the cloth uh, and the flat there. All right, guys, you literally just have to line those holes back up and push it back on. Okay, next one to do is the back badge. Um, so the first thing you've got to do is open the boot. Just underneath the boot here, as you see, there's not much option to set for that one right now. This little screw here, um, just need a little torque. Just a little torque screw. So these are the only bits I really need. Um, it is a T20. All we have to do, put that one in there and start unscrewing. Okay, so as soon as you unscrewed that one, you should be able to pull down slightly. Um, so at this point, all as it is, is the rest of it's kind of fixed on by poppers. You've got some sort of um, things that pop in along the top here, uh, and a few going along the back as well. So all you have to do is sort of uh, gently pull, you just hear nice little pops every now and then. We start at the back, like that. I say little pops, it's actually quite a big badge. But yeah, as you can see inside there, um, that is the badge and the window wiper right there. So all we're going to do is sort of uh, pull the rest of it down now, and hopefully pop the rest of it off. Oh, it all came off. Perfect. So as you can see from the sort of back of this now, um, you've got kind of the one, two, three, four along the back. One, two, three, four along the other side. All right, so they're all the ones you just got them. Okay, so now you've got the boot sort of interior lining off. It should be all nice and bare. Next thing to do is get these three little bolt tires. One, two, and three tucked in the back there. That's the awkward one. Um, you might want a sort of like a socket wrencher it's a 10 make sure you get a 10 piece bit i've only just got a normal wrench um mine are reasonably loose anyway because i've already done this um but they should literally just sort of twist off there so you've got to get those three off for the next bit okay so we're after removing those three little bolts there um so they're all out now they're all just down here um that should feel nice and free quite loose and also you should oh, sounds quite bright also you should see a little bit of movement um in the back sort of handle there um so the next part is to give it a bit of a wiggle as you can see from the top Nice and wobbly. Okay, what you want to try and do, oh well, this is the best way I've found it, is get your fingers sort of over the top and pull the top first. Or once again, it's similar to the boot kind of cover that we took off just after taking that little um, torque screw out. We'll make a lovely, nice little bang if I can get my fingers under the front. But you, you kind of want to lift this end first, and then you kind of get your finger around. You should be able to pinch the top. When you get your fingers around, it should make a nice pop. And then the whole thing should come off. As you see, not very nice in there, but she's now off. All right, so that's the best way I've found to get the back badge off. That's the way I took mine off, you know, to get mine sort of sprayed black. Um, I kind of surrounded it with kind of used uh, the newspaper and the masking tape. Um, that seemed to work pretty good for me. In my opinion, it was better than doing it on the car because then I only had to cover uh, just the rest of the sort of boot catch there rather than the whole back of the car. Um, not too long to take take it off. Takes about five minutes or so. Um, yeah, there is a bit of pulling and things like that, but should come off reasonably easy. So I'm just going to show you on the inside. As you can see now, that kind of button there um, is really kind of slack, um, as there's nothing really holding them in. So that's the boot button uh, to open the boot. So to be honest, I wouldn't shut the boot now, uh, just in case. <laughs> okay, so back on the inside. As you see now, the sunlight should be peering through, and this is really quite loose now. 
don't worry about that it's not going to drop out it's not going to fall on anything this mechanism is fine it will hold itself together it's not going to break open or anything like that all you need to do when you go and put it back in is uh, line those little holes up, stick the boot badge back on the top and just do everything in reverse pretty much. Just sort of remember as you push this one back, all right, you want to be pushing on all those spots, making sure you're getting a pop from each one and then remember to get that little screw back in at the end. All right, guys, that is it. All right, it's as simple as that to change those two badges or pop them off, get them sprayed, however you want to do it, um, with whatever you want to do them with. Like I said about that back one, you can fully take that diamond off if you like. Um, I didn't want to because I didn't want to break mine off, didn't want to have to glue it back on or anything like that. I wanted it to stay nice and securely on there. Um, so I just masked and taped um, and sort of newspapered around it. Um, and it seemed to work pretty well. Um, but yeah, any questions or concerns, guys, please pop them in the comments below. But yeah, thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this little how-to video. If you like, subscribe as well, guys. It will mean the world to me. Thank you very much.